When Mattel released their Masterverse figure based on He-Man's appearance in the 1987 Masters of the Universe film, many fans were disappointed at the subpar likeness by comparison to actor Dolph Lundgren. Whatever the reason for the misstep in the eyes of fans, Ron and Toy has come to the rescue to help fill the void for collectors, much like they've done with other toy lines in the past in their mission to fill collecting gaps with third-party, unlicensed items. But was this Masterverse Dolph Lundgren head sculpt good enough to make the cut? Find out right here on Toy Connections. I'll admit that I am one of those who had zero interest in Mattel's base offering for this Masterverse 1987-style movie He-Man upon seeing it for the first time. Sure, they do offer a second head sculpt in the more traditional He-Man toy look, but its overall look and attire is more akin to that of the live-action original film, so it's not unreasonable for collectors to want something more accurate especially when you consider the rising standards of collector-grade items and tons of toy lines out there competing for the same pool of money from fans. Ramen Toy did offer this head in two versions that are similar to one another, coined as Verse 1 and Verse 2, with a third verse meant for the origin scale of figures. I opted for the Verse 1 Dolph head, which arrived in the mail recently and thus afforded me the opportunity to produce this video that you're watching right now. Taking it out of Ramen's clear clamshell packaging, which sports their logo and their website QR code, it's easy to be impressed by this sculpt. Company owner Ace is definitely a good friend of mine, and I knew to expect good quality and service coming from him. Making the head swap, it's simple enough to twist and remove the original head from the figure, then replace it with the one that Ramen has given us. Right off the bat, the difference is night and day, and I doubt anybody would dispute that claim. Side by side, you can see the very obvious improvement between the two, and Ramen wins this one hands down. Looking at the comparison with Dolph Lundgren from 1987, and you can see the significant improvement as it goes from being a figure that I have literally zero interest in to a figure that I must have in the collection. And since I do like to take things a step further on toy connections, I'd like to connect all of this back to the other He-Man of history. That is, during the 2008 and onwards Masters of the Universe Classics era run of toys, we were introduced and in other cases reintroduced to other He-Man who were known as protectors of the Power Sword. Here's him next to the intended original wielder of the Power Sword in Classics lore, namely Hero. Here's him next to King Grayskull, the next to wield the sword. Then over to Vicor, He-Man of the North, then flash forward some time to Wundar, or the Wonderbred He-Man, who has been worked backwards into He-Man history. Then next to Ular, who's known as the Jungle He-Man. Now we look at him next to He-Man, the one we're most familiar with, whose alter ego is of course Prince Adam. Then we look at him next to Dare, who is the son of He-Man during the future. And for good measure, here is him next to the Masterverse King Grayskull that was based off of the Revelations cartoon. Whether or not you would put this He-Man as one of those in the immediate lineage and in the same continuity as the rest of the He-Man shown here, or if you consider him an alternate continuity He-Man like the original movie did, either way it's worth adding him to the collection to complete this overall look on your display. In an era that I'd like to call the Renaissance era of toys, it's improvements like these and the display options like these that make collecting all the more fun. Yes, the Masterverse line of toys is a tad taller than that of classics, but they don't scale too badly when you put them together. Ultimately, the goal here was to show you all the before and after look when considering the ramen toy head sculpt, an item that I should mention before I forget that they have retailed for about $16 American, at least when they have it in stock. Comment if you liked this video, and feel free to check out some of my other Masters of the Universe deep dive history videos right over here. Otherwise, Take care, and I will see you all again next time.